Yeah, I think we had a really great season last year with a lot of returners, um, a lot of continuity. So we're kind of looking to pick up where we left off um, from our postseason run last year. Uh, and then adding to that, I think our, our first years really bring a positive energy and a bunch of different personalities that kind of complement the existing starters really well. So I think we're looking at a lot of fun and kind of hit the ground running come time for our season. Absolutely. So I think it's really important um, that we have members of our team who have experience what it feels like to win a conference championship um, and come back every se every season wanting to feel that again. Um, so I definitely think, think it helps us set goals. And I think sophomore year, we were also did not have a good season. And we were, I think, ranked last in the conference. Um, so we really, the upperclassmen have really experienced it all um, and know the hard work um, and dedication it takes uh, to end up number one in our conference. I think we, we really do have kind of a team-focused dynamic um, and that whatever individual goals you set, they should be feeding into a larger team purpose. And I think something that we've really kind of stressed um, last season and also a lot in our training in the offseason, like our preseason this year, is um, like a selfless approach to the game and what can I be doing to put the team in a better position or how can I, what, what can I do as an, in a batter in the field to help the team kind of succeed is like our main, our main goal. So obviously, since we got three inches of snow yesterday, we're looking to go to Florida next week. Um, and especially since we had our season opener canceled for tomorrow, um, we're all just really antsy to get down to Florida, be in the sun, be on the fields, and play 10 games. Um, also, big, big game this year is Senior Day um, against FNM? FNM. FNM. Um, so we're really excited for that. Um, and it'll be great. Um, to celebrate our careers and celebrate our team that day uh, with all our families and a lot of our friends. So yeah. that'll be an exciting one. I think being a student athlete, but especially being a part of the Haverford um, softball program, it, um, has had such a positive impact on my like, college experience. Uh, I think it really teaches you like what it's what it's like and what's what is important being in a team and establishing a culture and working hard and kind of what grit and preparation really. Um, looks like and how that manifests. Um, I think being a part of such a supportive community too has really been a positive experience in my four years. Yeah, it's, HSB has really been a family um, for me. So I think first of all, it's going to be beautiful this spring, um, according to the Farmer's Almanac. <laughs> so I think obviously you want to come out get some sun, watch some great softball, some great competitive softball, um, would be one thing. We have a beautiful field, class of 95. It's absolutely gorgeous. Bring a picnic blanket so you can sit on the hill, watch the game. Um, and our parents are in attendance at all games, and my mom brings spectacular baked goods, so you could ask her for some of those. Thank um, you for that. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's really um, a great experience to come out uh, to HESB softball. And we also play doubleheaders, so if you have something to do on Saturday, you can come to the earlier game, you can come to the later one. Um, but we'd love for some fans to come out um, and enjoy the sun and enjoy some good softball.